I'm Luke Alfie. I'm a group leader here in the Arthropod Genetics Group. We work to try to control harmful pest insects. So insects do a great deal of damage to agriculture and to uh, human health through transmitting diseases like dengue and malaria, mosquito-borne diseases. And we try to we want to control that, but we also want to do it in a very environmentally friendly way. So not affecting the other insects, the bees and the butterflies, but also the very many other neutral insects that are not harmful to humans, but are very important to the ecosystem. So how might we do that? Well, we try to use genetic methods. So we uh, try to use modified mosquitoes. And then the control agent is a modified mosquito. And if you think about what that means, it means that you'll be releasing, instead of an insecticide, you'll be releasing some modified mosquitoes. Well, for the mosquito for malaria, you could argue that we are gradually winning. There are fewer deaths and fewer infections from malaria than there were 10, 20, whatever years ago. But for the viral diseases, dengue, Zika, these sort of things, uh, we are arguably losing. The root part of the reason is that the control tools that we have available are very few and, and far between. There's one new licensed vaccine that doesn't look very effective. There are no specific drugs. So we're down to controlling the mosquitoes that transmit the disease which is essentially area spraying with insecticides and tr trying to control breeding sites are very crude tools. So if we can develop new tools for that, then potentially we can control the disease and also important to do that in a sustainable, environmentally sustainable way. And that's the aim of our research here. This is applied research. And so although we are working in the lab at the moment, eventually the goal is field impact. So uh, that would involve a transition of this sort of technology into, into field use. That's some years away now for the sort of technologies we're working on at the moment, but certainly in prospect and in a previous part of my career I was heavily involved in, in earlier uh, projects to release and use successfully uh, genetically modified mosquitoes in the field that's gone extremely well. And we're trying to develop improved versions of that, of, of these sorts of technologies that where well, maybe the release numbers are a little less but it's still local and controllable and safe and effective. So I moved here in 2014 and have been building a group since then uh, and it's going really well but we are still expanding and still looking for uh, new people to join the group who are interested in this area of research so if that's you come and talk to us.